Creating ACH payments within Business Online Banking is simple. First, click on the Commercial tab from the top, and then choose a transaction type. Templates for the chosen transaction type will then be shown at the bottom of the screen. If you'd like to create a new payment, click on the New Payment button, and then you can choose a transaction type. If you'd like to create a new template, click on the Create Template button, and then choose your transaction type. To create a new template, enter in a template name. Enter a company entry description, and select the account you'd like to pay from. Scrolling down, you can then add your recipients. You can type in the name of the recipient and select it from the list. If you'd like to create a split payment, click on the More Actions button and click on Split Payment. You can then choose the second account for the recipient. You can enter the total dollar amount that you're going to pay this recipient, and then you can enter the amount in the secondary account. And then the system will pre-fill the primary account, and then just click on Save. Once a template has been saved, you can choose to pay from it right away, or you can click Close. Let's pay from this template. I'll then choose an effective date for my payment, and my amounts are pre-filled, and I'll just approve this transaction. I need to enter a secure access code to approve this transaction. The delivery methods will be shown on the screen. Select a delivery method, and wait for your code to come through, and then just enter that on the screen. and then just click on Verify. My transaction has been approved, and I can view this in the Activity Center, or I can close. To create a new payment, click on the New Payment icon, and then choose your transaction type. We'll choose an ACH disbursement. For ACH disbursements and collections, you'll need to choose an SEC code. PPD is used for personal, and CCD is used for business. I'll enter a company entry description. I'll choose the account that it's going to be paid from, and then I'll choose an effective date. Down below, I'll enter a recipient. I can create a new recipient or choose from the ones that are already existing. I can enter the dollar amount of my payment, and then I can choose to either draft or approve. We'll draft this one instead of approving. Now that the payment has been drafted, that will require a second approval. I can choose to view in the Activity Center to notify additional approvers, or I can just click Close.